in the bottom to make sure that all brands are depending on the number of bells and the, 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 the material we are using. Now this is the low quality material which we have made, but still organic. We are not oh, having oh, any conventional. And it's all, yes. and this is all from Uganda. All yeah. from, from Uganda. Uh, all from Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. Made. So mm. they mix. You have to make, make sure that the together here. After mixing, then you start off the machine. Okay. And this machine will take clean. I have the light for screening, the person will be at screen. Whatever goes to the machine is free of such a contamination. So that's the process of removing the contamination. Yeah, cleaning plus screening. Then the machine will open fully to make sure that the fibers so that the individual fibers are segregated. That is the importance of this machine. Now, after the machine has segregated the fibers, then they will be transported through the chute to the cutting process. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then now the cuts so will align. So the pattern goes yes, yes, through all this. The chute While it's flying through yes. the air, any, kind of yeah, any yeah. weight will drop. Yeah, exactly. So you're trying, to get, you're yeah. trying to get all the dirt, all the contamination, and ultimately you've got to get all those yeah. fibers running parallel right. and straight mm. so Ooh. that they can, and then they get spun. Yeah, because I've that. So that sand, when you open the cotton fully, the heavy particles like sand and these parts or remains of the seed coats, they will drop down. Mm. So mm. we collect them from the machine. So you find that the whole thing is well cleaned. Then this See, machine. one thing to note, guys, is what you're seeing now is a 100% organic yeah, process. Yeah, yeah. If it goes through, if they were running um, non-conventional cotton, they would have to either clean everything and no, redo totally it. Right. Uh, to making uh, non-organic plant. We are producing mm -hmm. only organic. Just, no, 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 just, I'm just, just explaining. Okay. If, yeah. 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 What they would have to do, you would have to do if you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I used to do it myself. Right. I used to do it myself. When it is time for running organic, and I've been running mm -hmm. conventional cotton, so what I do, I first run out completely the conventional cotton. Then, then, then I get two bells of organic. Mm -hmm. I open it. I use it to clean the whole system, ah. and I regard it as conventional. Uh -huh. I don't regard it as organic. It could be transitional. Yeah, it could be transitional, <laughs> but in my but sales no, no, no. process, no, 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 no. I put it as conventional. Then there, I'm very sure that what will follow after cleaning is organic. Yes. But we went ahead and step and said, no, let's leave conventional alone. Let's concentrate on organic. Which is so why you now find the downtown, they're rather closed down, then go through months. that process. Yeah. 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 The process by which you go through organic yeah. and yeah. conventional is exactly the same. It's just yeah. the, the cleaning and the changing, cleaning so you can't mix. Yeah. 